LCG is proposing that the oil center, the University Avenue corridor, and the Freetown area be designated cultural districts. If the council approves the resolution at Tuesday's meeting, an application will then be sent to the state. Our Chris Welty finds out how this could benefit the Hub City. It's our top story. Lafayette Consolidated Government is hopeful the city will be able to take advantage of the state's historic tax credits on buildings 50 years or older within cultural districts. Lafayette currently has two cultural districts, downtown and the Macomb Vise neighborhood. It's a really effective and inexpensive way for Lafayette to unlock some of those incentives and benefits for redeveloping and reinvestment in some of those areas. Kate Durio with Lafayette Mayor President Joel Robito's office says the cultural district designations help developers while revitalizing neighborhoods. It could be a rental house or it could be a commercial space, retail. Um, it doesn't have to be cultural related business, uh, but you can get up to 20% for renovations on that building. Shoppers would also see a benefit if they purchase original artwork sold within the cultural district. Local sales tax would be exempt. We're getting a lot more than we're giving with that, um, but the original artwork is clearly defined by the state. Anything that is original in nature, handmade, those things qualify and they have to be sold within the cultural district. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3.